Okay, so here we go. Uh, welcome back to Spider Man TV. I spent some time uh, you know, working on the channel in the background. Uh, I've got some stuff ready to go, and I was thinking, what should I make the first video? I could think about it, and I thought, well, let's go with this one that I've, uh, I've written, which is 10 home truths or things you might not have known about spiders. They're is an arachnophobic friendly version of this one that has no pictures of spiders but obviously talking about spiders I can't not mention the spiders but uh, yep thanks very much uh, here's the relaunch and uh, yeah thanks for tuning in okay so here we go 10 home truths about spiders number one they don't care about you I hate to break it to you but you do not figure on a spider's priorities they make use of our artifacts and uh, constructions and that's around about it. They like our houses because they're sheltered and all our detritus attracts their dinner. Spiders have one and just one aim. To make lots of baby spiders. They want to propagate their species and in order to do that they need to eat and not get eaten. Sadly for male spiders that usually translates to mate and get eaten by the female. Number two, there are 650-ish species of spider in the UK alone. Uh, while the UK does not have the biodiversity of other countries, we have no shortage of species of spider. No, no real giants, and certainly nothing more venomous than Steatoda nobilis, but some lovely spiders nonetheless. I might even do a top 10 video about it. Number three. Of the 650 species in the UK, over 80% are under a centimetre in size. And a good chunk of those are under half a centimetre. Uh, we have some tiny little spiders in the UK. Do you remember those little spiders called the money spiders? Well, that covers a whole family numbering around about 200 species in the UK. Good luck distinguishing between them without a macro shot or a microscope. Number four. Worldwide they eat up to 800 million tons of insects a year. That's a lot of bugs. Imagine all of those insects and other invertebrates crawling about and flying around us. Uh, and then extrapolate that for all their offspring and then imagine all the damage to crops and the disease that they would spread. Spiders do us a vital service, and in turn they act as prey to bigger animals, uh, like various mammals and birds. It's the circle of life. It's all part of this wonderfully adaptive ecosystem that we have. Number five. They can spin up to seven different types of silk. So, spiders make silk webs. That's pretty cool. Um, they are little chemical factories that then turn these chemicals and proteins into silk. That's pretty unique and pretty amazing. But how about making seven different types of silk for different purposes? And again, consider that spiders are very small. They're tiny. Um, incredible creatures. Honestly, they should be worshipped as gods. And to be fair, some people did they were way ahead of the curve. Number six, they can regrow their limbs. Now, for Aranea Malfrey, or the true spiders, this is only up until maturity, up until they're fully grown. So it's about seven months, give or take. Uh, but it's true, they can regenerate legs. They can also drop legs at will by cutting off the flow of circulation and attaching it like it was on a valve and um, this is sometimes a vital survival mechanism um, they get grabbed by the leg and they drop the leg and run away my gallimorphs however molt throughout their lives and can therefore regenerate limbs for as long as they live number seven they are more important to this planet than we are. Now, to be fair, everything is. Uh, we are nothing but a detriment to this fair sphere, should we disappear from planet Earth. 
she will breathe a sigh of relief and carry on all the better for our absence. However, should spiders disappear overnight, we would be gone in six months to a year. They are that vital to the ecosystem. Um, we would suffer massive loss of crops, disease. We would die without spiders. Number eight. They kill less people than cows every year. Uh, and that's cows, not bulls. I'm not talking about bullfighting, um, you know, or anything like that. Cows, not like cows in a field. Spiders have never killed anyone in the UK. And I do mean never. We just don't have dangerous spiders in the UK at all. Number nine. And this one for arachnophobes, you might want to skip. Number nine. You are never more than a foot away from a spider. Okay, this is true. You know that saying, saying that you are never more than three foot away from a rat in London? Well, right now you are no more than a foot away from a spider. I'm sorry to break it to you, but it's true. You're sitting on a sofa. There are spiders in or under that sofa. There are spiders under the floorboards, behind bookcases, in the walls, in the ceilings, in nooks and crannies around you. But you never see them, and you never will, because they're tiny and they want nothing to do with you. But they are there. They're eating tiny little pests and mites, silverfish, uh, you know, tiny little bugs that they subsist on. And um, again, they're doing us a service because you won't see any of those tiny bugs either because the spiders eat them. Uh, this is accepted, of course, if you are in the Arctic or Antarctica, or maybe sitting on a raft in the middle of the ocean, in which case I appreciate your commuted viewership all the more. Number 10. They can live longer than most animals. Most spiders, especially in the UK, have short lifespans of a year or, or two. There are some exceptions. Um, Steatoda nobilis and um, Arachigena atrica uh, can live up to five years um, as the females and our resident mygalomorph Atopus affinis um, can live up to 10 years. However, these are nothing compared to other mygalomorph. Um, I have tarantulas here that are at least 20 to 25 years old. Tarantulas can go a long time without eating. I had a chili rose uh, tarantula that went 18 months without having a meal. They don't move a lot. So their slow metabolism ensures a, a long life. Uh, the oldest recorded spider is a trapdoor spider that was clocked at 40 years old and it didn't die of old age. Um, to put that in perspective, that is longer than any cat, any dog, cows, horses, any kind of gazelle or antelope that's longer than bears and tigers. Oh my. In fact, I would say that puts them in the upper percentile for animal lifespans. Spiders are amazing. So there you go. 10 things about spiders that you might not have known before, but you do know now. Uh, thanks always for tuning in. And remember till next time, it's just a spider.